Don't call it a service pack, but Microsoft is changing how it's servicing Windows 10 yet again. What's up everybody, Brad here back again. And for a while now, we've been trying to figure out what is going on with 19H2 or the update coming to Windows 10 in the second half of 2019. Microsoft unusually has been cryptically quiet about this for some time. And yesterday they finally broke the news or non broke the news, if you will, about what is going on with 19H2. And as many of us have suspected, it's pretty much just kind of like a patch and fix update it there's not a lot going on here but there there is one minor change that depending on the version of windows 10 that you're running that will actually potentially maybe make your life a little bit easier here is what microsoft is doing if you are running the fall or the spring update that just came out what they call the may 2019 update of windows 10 when 19h2 ships later this year it's going to feel a lot more like a patch tuesday update rather than a complete refresh of the system where it takes over your machine for 15 20 minutes or however long that takes on your device updates things says hey we didn't move any of your files and then brings you to a brand new updated version of windows 10. no 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 they are going to be doing more of like a patch Tuesday. You'll see it install, you'll restart, and maybe you'll have some new features. The reason I say maybe is we Microsoft in their blog post did not say what the new features are or if there are any, which tells us two things. One, they are incredibly minor, very, very minor stuff here, if anything. Well, I'm sure there's something, but very minor stuff that is going on with that update because if it was a major feature update or anything like that they would want to be testing it for set for many months and we are roughly two two and a half months away from this release being shipped which means hey it's probably more of like a, an r2 or a service pack update rather than a brand new build of windows 10. now if you are running something other than the may 2019 update when you install it it will feel like the traditional the updates we've been used to for the past three years of windows 10 where it's kind of a complete takeover your machine and update it'll feel just like that i suspect going forward microsoft is going to be trying to do these smaller like kind of a tick and talk style updates because we already know that 20h1 is relatively substantial speaking because they've been shipping builds with new features for some time all this being said, this might be Microsoft finally admitting and acknowledging and doing everything that we've wanted them to do pretty much since the beginning. In the spring, we get feature updates and all that good stuff, new items to play with, new visual elements and all that stuff. And in the fall, you get servicing updates or just quality of life, making things just run better because, hey, they need bugs fa faxed, fixed and all of that. So... I think Microsoft is finally admitting, but not admitting that, hey, what we've been asking for for a long time probably is the right approach. And now it looks like they are shipping it. Of course, we won't really fully know this until Microsoft explicitly comes out and says, hey, every spring features, every fall patching and stability. That would be a great model for Windows 10. And I would be very much in favor of that. It looks like Microsoft is finally doing that. They have not explicitly told us, but once we find out more information, we will obviously let you know. But that is what's changing with Windows 10 servicing. It looks like it's very much headed in the right direction, at least what we've heard from in 2019. And that is what you need to know. 